Come here. So, um, so we talked about today the um, uh, the prospects for elections in Thailand, and talked about sorry, asked you three questions. So, when are elections going to occur? Uh, when they do occur, what's the environment likely to be like? And which parties, which uh, what the prospects for different parties in Thailand? And starting with the first, um, uh, we uh, sort of talked about the shifting electoral calendar in Thailand, uh, the sort of perpetual uh, elect, uh, perpetual roadmap to to democracy in the. Um, likelihood that elections will be uh, postponed at least till February of 2019, and a high likelihood that they may be postponed uh, beyond that, particularly if uh, the, the government is able to point to continued instability, protests, things like that. Uh, the death of the queen could, could, could postpone elections as well. Um, and then also talked about uh, if those election, when elections do occur, the prospects, uh, what, what, what the electoral environment is likely to look like. And so we talked about uh, the um, uh, the new election and party laws uh, that have been that are in draft form, uh, which are designed in part to undermine political parties, make them uh, much weaker. Uh, there are new requirements that require parties to have branches and certain membership, which will be, should be difficult for smaller and medium-sized parties. And a particularly interesting provision that requires uh, party primaries, uh, which should be. Uh, which will be, um, which will pit candidates from the same party against each other, and will likely lead to more factionalized parties, weaker party labels, and the uh, an increase in sort of vote buying, money politics, and connection with those uh, with those with those um, uh, those primary elections. All uh, the, the sort of net effect of which is sort of weaker parties, weaker party leaders, um, which I think again is part of the part of the design, part of the strategy. Then we also talked about the new electoral system, mixed member apportionment system, the ties are calling it, which um, uh, makes it very difficult for um, small parties that don't have much of a local base to win, uh, harms parties that have sort of large national following, like particularly Puyo Thai, and, and redounds to the advantage of parties that have local bailiwicks, local bases, but aren't really popular nationally, and sort of talked about uh, the way that might play through in the next election. In terms of uh, uh, parties that are actually competing, um, mentioned that there's a lot of new parties that are on the scene that are, that are forming, many of which have de declared their sort of alliance with the military and their willingness to support Prayut as prime minister. A few sort of reformist, um, uh, progressive parties that are also competing. Um, and then alongside the, uh, the sort of existing parties, Puyatai and the Democrats being the two largest. Uh, the prospects for all these parties is going to be difficult in the next, uh, in the next election. We've got uh, the military spending a lot of money trying to increase its popularity. Uh, we've got an uneven playing field in terms of the military's involvement in the elections and the managing the elections. Uh, and we also have um, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the constitution electoral system, which makes it difficult for existing parties to compete and win, uh, win seats. Um, that said, the Democrats and, and Puyatai are likely to be the two largest parties, with Puyatai the largest, um, uh, although each of those parties face a uh, number of challenges, including party factionalism and, and groups that are breaking off from the party. In Thai Rak Thai's case, um, uh, a question about who the next leader is going to be uh, in the coming election. And then we talked a bit about some of the new parties, uh, particularly Future Forward Party, which is a sort of a, a new and uh, a new party that's getting a lot of press for sort of its progressive ideals. Um, and talked about the, the, the difficulty that party is going to face given the new electoral system uh, in terms of winning actual seats, uh, getting voters to vote for it, uh, and cast their single vote they have for that party in, uh, in, in the constituency. is going to be a challenge for that party. Uh, so all in all, prospects look a little bleak uh, going forward, but um, uh, Thailand has nothing of interesting in terms of uh, uh, how things develop.